Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Coaster. So, last episode, we didn't get a hell of a lot done. And I realized I've missed something out from the from the original plan that I should have actually included. So, what we're going to be doing this episode is kind of marking things out. And we're going to finish the entrance. And then we'll have a better idea of how the park is going to look overall. So, first things first, uh, let's go into the terrain tools. And we're going to go into painting, because th this is basically how I'm going to use, how I'm going to be marking things out. I'm going to leave it on pause for the moment. So I did mention we're going to have a sort of central harbour area. And let's just use, what's this? There's some sort of rocky terrain. Let's have a look at that. It's like sand. Kind of looks like sand. Alright, so the central harbour area is going to be kind of sandy. I don't want it to be too big. But it's going to be kind of right up to the entrance here. So kind of a central square. And this is where we're going to put the the main shops and facilities and things when people first enter the park. And we're going to have a couple of little attractions here. But it's going to be mainly scenery and it's just going to be how people get from one place to another. Uh, there's going to be uh, joining paths between each area. But generally this is sort of the main central square. So over here is where we're going to have solar city. So I'm just going to be putting some I'm just going to be putting some rock down here, which is kind of not what solar city is going to be about, but <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of that sort of green area mainly. So I'm going to have to color this back with grass later. But this just gives us an idea of how big everything's going to be. So I'm just kind of painting along this area. I'm leaving this gap here because there's going to be a sort of a crossover point here between the two areas. And that's just going to be how we'll, we'll do things. So I don't really need to fill that in. I know it looks a little bit messy. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to extend it all the way. And of course this is going to go, I think, right up to the edge maybe. I might change that later, but more or less it's going to be kind of there all the way along to the edge. So that's going to be Solar City here. And then this is going to be the Tesla area. So Tesla is going to be a different color. It's going to be the dry grass. I think that's dry grass. Kind of looks like it. It looks a bit sandy though. Like, oh, that's going to confuse me so much. Okay, this is much better. A sort of gravelly kind of thing. So this is going to go, again, pretty much all the way to the edge. I'm going to try and make use of the space as much as possible. So this is a giant D kind of shape. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's looking pretty good. So that's right there. And then uh, the last one, of course, will be uh, SpaceX, which is going to take up this entire area here. So it's more or less kind of like a T shape. Might even extend it out this way, just kind of down down here a little bit more. So that's kind of how we're going to do things. Um, I think what I might also do is just extend this up to the edge there as well. So we have that central area being a little bit more centered, a little bit more central there. And that's kind of how we're going to lay everything out. But of course this is just a very rough plan and it still could change quite significantly as we get along. Now, this is just for my reference, so of course it's not going to be saved this way, but I do want to give you guys a kind of clearer idea of what it's going to look like. But uh, now what I'm going to do is we're going to finish off this entrance, and uh, I know a lot of you guys might have found the, that a little bit boring last time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump to uh, where it's a little bit more complete. Alright, and here we are. It definitely does look a little bit more like that dropship idea that I was thinking of. Uh, so we've got the sort of head or nose area up here. This is kind of the bridge, because uh, as we understand it, most landing ships and things tend to have uh, quite large bridges. At least they, they're able to see the ground a lot more clearly. So that's kind of what I've gone with here. There's a lot of lights, and just to kind of demonstrate that, I'm going to set the lighting to... Let's let's make it 7pm. So 
So I'm just going to type that in. 7 p.m. There we go. So we switch that over to night. You can see just how lit up this area actually is. Uh, now I don't know if we can change the the uh, the color of the lights. That would be great. But for now it doesn't look like I can actually do that. So I'm not sure. But this area is going to be lit up with spotlights as well. So it's going to have its sort of color toning from that at night. And I've still got the landing struts, wings, tails, and engines, and of course a roof to, to do here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's more or less complete. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through all of this. So this area here has been duplicated. And I've got the paths going through from uh, the from the entrances here. So we've got this sort of central area here. And it's got these nice little bridge uh, railings as well. And that's just going to help it kind of look like... You know, with most parks, what they tend to do is they rail off those uh, scenery items so that you don't mess with them. And I'm going to kind of do that, but at the same time, whoops, this is the back area. So we've got that rear hatch there and a couple of windows. And this is where the tail of it's going to go. So I still need to do the tail and the roof. And then we're going to do the interiors as well. So let's get started with uh, doing the f finishing off the front. So the front of it here has these kind of angular shapes here and we've got little boarding doors on the left and right. I might actually put some ladders going down these so we'll see how we go with that. I'm just going to set it back to daytime so we can see what's going on and oh there's a group of people that have been turned away because there's nothing to see in the park. How sad. Okay so let's see the roof. Let's just click on that. Edit building and let's go over the custom. So we've got a couple of things that I do want to do first. So let's do the engine areas, because the engine intakes are pretty much going to be at the front. And I think what I could do is go with some of these, but these are quite large, like ridiculously large. If they were like half the size, they would definitely be a lot more useful. But these could work as well, just as a kind of roofing item. But I think that might be a bit too much as well. So it's going to be a bit tricky to kind of get the sort of shape we're looking for. Now for those of you wondering, there's a lot of overlapping going on here. So you can see how I've actually done this is I've placed the items and then kind of clipped them through. So there's these little lights in here. Actually, just cancel that so you can see there's these little lights in here and this sort of vent at the top there. And all of that sort of clipped through, but it sort of looks neat in a way. At least I think so, anyway. It looks sort of neat to me. But yeah, for the most part, it is very uh, very much clipped through. And there's a lot of cheatsy stuff going on here. So I'm going to finish off the edge just here. Uh, let's see. This will fit right onto there. Which will give us a nice little edge to work with. I want to lift it up a little bit more. So that we have that extra room to work with. Because I, I, I want to put another layer on top of this as well. That looks pretty good. But uh, instead of just placing it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate and move that. And the reason is so it just sort of maintains the same height. Uh, one of the main problems with moving things around in, in this game is... Uh, angle snap wasn't on. That's why. Uh, one of the main problems is just when you move stuff around or when you just place them, it's kind of free moving unless it snaps to a surface. So there is a chance that it's not going to be aligned properly and this is just an easier way of aligning things. So I'm just going to move that along there. Just kind of get that gap going. The only problem I've, I've noticed is the, there is an issue with the with the building deselecting every once in a while and I don't know why that's happening because it, it it's not a big problem but it does cause some issues with uh just having to reselect everything and of course reselecting the filters and that it just keeps happening and i'm not sure exactly why and that looks pretty good like it, it's a nice sort of smooth surface i could decorate it a little bit more but i 
We're a little bit short on parts, unfortunately. That's the thing with the sci-fi set, you don't have a lot of parts to work with, so you end up having to substitute other parts in. Alright, let's get a roof going on here. Now, I did see something. Oh, I was just messing around with this a little bit. The... just in between episodes, and I was just, like, looking... That, that was this? Um... So what that's done is it's given us a couple of glass items to work with, so we've, we've actually got... Oh, God. See, it's just happened again. Uh, let's go back to glass. There we are. So this has given us a bunch of glass walls and windows and things to work with. And this canopy down here is kind of cool. The only problem is this rear area will need something to cover it up. But that doesn't look too bad. We just need to decorate the roof a little bit more. But the main thing that I want to do on this side... I'm looking for something rounded. But basically what my plan is going to use these light cylinders as the nose cones and I'm going to use vents to cover up most of the lights. I don't know necessarily if there's going to be an issue with using this many lights. I mean the, the, the main thing is these don't really emit light. It, it sounds strange to say but they don't actually emit all that much light. They, they sort of have this glow about them which is just sort of a surface glow but it doesn't actually have like you know cast light and shadows. But, yeah, I do kind of want the engines to be sort of visible from the ground as well. I was thinking having the intake somewhere up here. And that would allow it to sort of blend into the shape a little bit better. Or we could go with a more realistic shape, of course, and just go with the reactor shielding. Because this is definitely large enough. Although, now that I've placed it down, it doesn't look too bad. I could blend it in a little bit better. Let's see, could just move the shape in a little bit more. I think it's because of these pieces here that it seems to look like it fits a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to have di different ideas now because this is something that I was just sort of thinking of, and I've got these like different designs in my head, and never really sure exactly which one uh, would be suitable. I guess. But then, yeah, it's kind of like there's so many different designs that this could go because it is basically a spaceship. <laughs> and yeah, we can kind of design it any way we really want. But we are going to have to duplicate on uh, on the other side. And there isn't a way of mirroring these. Not that I can tell anyway. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. All right, so that's that's the first sort of engine done. It's going to have this sort of hemispherical shape, and then I'm going to kind of put something in between as well. So it's the entire top is the main engines. And then maybe put some thrusters down here, and then the bottom part will be the landing gear. So that's, yeah, that's in a nutshell how it's kind of going to look. I think. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to go with that. I like that idea. We can kind of put thrusters on the edge here as well. Kind of mold it into that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, so, so, let's get on with it. Okay, so all of this is now sort of done. So I now need to duplicate. No, no, duplicate. And I need to move that. Just kind of checking the alignment because all I'm going to do is rotate this 180 degrees. Like this is just going to go the other way around. So that's sort of our engines there. Let's just hope that this isn't clipping through the ceiling. I don't think it is. Although it might not matter too much if it is, because it, 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 it would actually add a little bit more shape to the top. But then it would also cut into the sort of scanner lights there. So that's uh, it's not good. Okay. Alright, so now what we need... I need a wall so I can stick something to it. That's yeah, that's pretty much what I need here. But I did see something. So we go back to our concrete pieces. I'm just hoping that these are the right sort of shape. We'll come back to this bit. And uh, I'm going to see... I'm going to do a little bit more testing and see how we can fill this part in. Uh, but for the moment, we can also take the time to do the interior. Because the, the interior as well needs to be finished. So I kind of want these to be like sort of security checkpoints. You know, uh, so these could sit in between, and so like 
they're kind of monitoring the people as they go along. Oh, it'd be so good if we could have security cameras as well. Yeah, that, that would actually be pretty cool. Let's duplicate that. Bring it over here. More or less in the middle. Kind of. So we're going to have these two terminals here, I think. Just two. Because I'm going to have something at the back and at the front, which is going to be a little bit different. So there are these. At the back, what I want to have is... Come on, work with me here. Come on. Okay, and... Uh, this wall console over here is kind of in the middle there. And have uh, maybe a little light at the bottom. Could I do three or four? Hmm, four might be better. It doesn't look quite aligned, which is annoying. Let's just move that along a little bit. That looks a little bit better. But yeah, getting alignment in this, this game, despite it having grid snapping, is a bit annoying for decorative pieces. I mean, I like that you can move them everywhere, but it's just... Having them not snap is really irritating. Okay, so this... I do want to kind of put that there, but it, the screens clip... Oh, so now it looks like there's no access to the actual bridge, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, or I could put a hatchway. Oh, you know what? No, there's the elevator doors. So these will go to the bridge. That, yeah, that that makes a hell of a lot more sense, actually. Put that there. Or I could put that off to the side a little bit and have something on, on that corner there. In fact, I could put another terminal there. Yeah, I can just, just fit one little terminal there. So that's like a little access panel to get to the bridge. I mean, there is an access panel there, but we put one little piece that's sort of like a loudspeaker or something. Kind of looks like a loudspeaker. Actually, it really looks like a loudspeaker. I mean, I'm sure it's some sort of ventilation unit, but it looks like one. It looks like a, a speaker of some sort. But no, that, that looks pretty good. I actually really like that. Okay, so now, now we can actually do the roof. Let's see, what was it? Building material glass, wasn't it? Well, I don't know if we have space now to do the glass can- Oh wait, no, we just have enough space. We actually just have enough space. So that's gonna be there. What did I just do? I, I placed something somewhere. There we go. Ah, there it is. Alright. So we can just place these all along. Okay, so one of the things that I've completely forgotten about as well is the uh, landing gear. So of course this isn't being held up by the stairs. Those are supposed to be sort of boarding stairs. Uh, so this... Whoa, camera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Camera, what are you doing? Camera. Alright. So we need this to be supported both at the front and back. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a couple of, of uh, struts in the middle and then one at the front. So I'm going to do this landing gear first. And I think for this one, what we're actually going to need is... I think we're going to need the foot pad first. Or rather, the, the actual base of it first, before we add the actual struts. So it's something that I can connect it to. I could make it out of these lights. Like, just have a few that are sort of stuck together. If I just kind of rotate it along like so, and just bring it out. I mean, I could put something like, so if I just, oops, no, come back. Let's just control X that. Okay, so if I I'll rotate, move that along a little bit like that. Um, something like that. How does that look? I mean, not great. Probably could do with a little bit of texture on, on there, but that could work quite nicely. And I could put some actual lights on it so it does look like actual landing gear. Now, th this looks like a good basis for it, I think. Alright, so let's just put that there. And let's put a little decorative piece on top of it. Okay. 
There we go. Now, finally, that's in the right place. Okay. So, we've got our little landing gear piece. But that's kind of for the nose area. And that seems big enough for at least for the bridge area, but I think we're going to need something much bigger than that for the middle, the main landing gear. But I'm just going to do this, the struts for this one first. Uh, so, I did see a couple of nice pieces. I think it was in the metal section. Oh my god, I finally found one. Okay, so this is actually wooden. <laughs> uh, it's not not what I was expecting to, to be using, but I got the color to match, more or less. Um, and that seems to fit the look of it, at least the shape I'm going for, quite nicely. The only thing, of course, if you look too closely, then you'll notice it's made of wood. But then what isn't nowadays? And there we go. A landing gear. I mean, it looks a little bit flimsy. <laughs> you know, I, I'm actually going to make it look slightly less flimsy. Um, going to make it look slightly less flimsy and move one piece over here as well. And, in fact, I might even just rotate that around. To kind of give it that sort of fork look. So, kind of like an actual commercial airliner, if you will. And then, of course, it needs something to connect to. Obviously, it needs to look like it's going to be retracted into the bay. It does look very thin if you look at it from this angle, which is a bit weird. Um, but that should be fine. And, of course, we've got to go back to our sci-fi theme, because we're going to go with panels here. And is it this one... I can't remember if it's this one. And of course, it's game. Please stop deselecting the building when I'm working on it. Yep, that's pretty much what I'm looking for here. So that's got to go this way. So I'm going to rotate this around. That looks pretty good. Genuinely looks pretty good. Uh, all right. So before, before we get too carried away with lighting, uh, we still have the main landing gear to finish. So, going with this sort of plan anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try and copy this lot. So that looks like a much better supported thing. Uh, landing, landing support, that's the one. So these, this is basically the landing gear, right? So I just need to rotate this around. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So, it's got that kind of all-around support look. Now, of course, I, I realize that this doesn't make any sense, really. I mean, structurally, it might. I'm not an engineer, but uh, these aren't technically supports anyway. That actually looks pretty good. So, we've still got a little bit more work to do. We've got the landing gear and the cockpit and everything done. Or oh, the bridge, rather. Interior's pretty much done. I'm going to light up the interior a little bit more because we do have that nice glass canopy there, uh, which I'm going to definitely make use of. Because, of course, when you zoom out, you are going to be able to see into it. So I think that would be useful to have. Um, and I'm definitely going to put the thrusters and things on there. But uh, I'm going to leave that for another episode. I have been recording for an hour already. But, yeah, I'm going to leave that for the next episode. And uh, in that episode, we're going to uh, start doing the central hub area already. So, I know that this I said the series is going to start off slow, but we are picking up the pace now. So, uh, do let me know what you think down in the comments below. I do really want to figure out exactly what's causing it to deselect the building, because that is incredibly annoying. And it's probably my biggest gripe with the game so far, uh, aside from lack of snapping tools. But... Or at least, maybe I'm not, I've not found them yet. I don't know. Do let me know what you think down in the comments below, and uh, I will see you next time.